Hi everyone, welcome to Drive and Fail 61. Have a look at the driving instructor behind. Well, it's a driving school car, so I'm making an assumption that it's a driving instructor. And I'm also making an assumption that they're on the phone. Their eyes are down and obviously looking at something, and this takes their attention away from what they should be doing. Even if it's in a holder, this driving instructor or potential driving instructor needs to do better than this. Just have a look at their road positioning. What if there was a motorcycle filtering at this point? They're not keeping up with the flow. Poor behaviour. And unfortunately, it doesn't get much better. He's still looking down constantly, he's still not keeping up with the flow, and he still weaves all over the road. If driving instructors can be this distracted whilst driving, it doesn't give us much hope for what the pupils are learning, does it? This video is kindly sponsored by Car Vertical. Not me, but someone else driving into my estate where I live, who nearly gets taken out by someone not looking. That was close. Try and look where you're going to end up, not where you're pointing. You don't need me to tell you what goes on here. You can see this developing from an absolute mile off. Hands up if you need lessons. The rules about not stopping on a pedestrian crossing area still apply to taxi drivers. If you do this, you're risking a fine and points on your license, and it can be really dangerous for pedestrians. As you may know, this is one of my pet hates. Another taxi driver this time a hackney driver, showing some less than professional skills. Wally. I thought my viewer did excellently there, well done. The driver of this car from the right wasn't waiting for anyone. Front <laughs> Did you see the dirty look they got from the pedestrians also? These are the pictures that document the first of this Audi's crashes. This happened back in 2019 when the car was only two years old, but since then it's been involved in another two collisions. I've said before when I've analysed other reports that multiple instances of damage could be sometimes the same event, but here I don't think that's the case. The timeline of this report clearly shows that after the first damage was detected, the car was put up for sale and ownership changed a couple of months later, and it was a further eight months before the next incident happened. After this second collision, ownership passed to someone else. The licence plate was changed and the car looked as though it passed its first MOT inspection. And because of this, it must have been repaired or the damage from the second incident was very light. In any case, it wasn't long until the third incident of damage happened in December 2020. Since then though, its history is much less eventful. It has changed ownership a few times, but it's also passed every single MOT. Would you be tempted with a car like this that had such a colourful past, or would you even know that it had been crashed three times? Without running a check through the Car Vertical website, all this information is more than likely to be hidden. Please use my link in the description, and by using the promo code Ashley when you're checking out your next potential purchase, you can save yourself 20%. Thanks Car Vertical. Two clips in one in this piece of footage. First of all, my viewer does a great job being patient and letting the driver of this white car eventually get into the space. Yay! And then we get the learner driver at the end turning in to the wrong side of the road. That wasn't the best. Straight from the taught by mum and dad driving school. Please try and be accommodating, just like my viewer was. 
It's a difficult task teaching someone when you're not fully qualified. Going back to the first clip, with the instructor potentially on the phone, do you think this had anything to do with this incident? Extra legal factors. Basically taking into account information that they shouldn't, which then leads them to misinterpret the results. It's that room for inter- I pooped my pants. This is the reason why your door mirrors disappeared when you've got up in the morning. I don't think there was any contact though. This reason for the diversion isn't something you hear every day. Quite unusual this one. Hello. Live ammunition on the road. Thank you. My next question is, how the hell would live ammunition come to be on a road? Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> did you do yes, it? Yes, I did it. Did did we, it did we go I think we went together, you and I, um, to the Metro Centre. Well, I've uh, been in and got it done. Yeah. Oops, Daisy. God, he pulled right across me. Idiot. The mindset that people have with other people signalling is poor, in my opinion. They say just because someone's signalling doesn't mean I've got to let them out. But I think that this was the cause of this situation, and the driver of the Audi was just fighting back. My viewer still had time to let them go, but instead closes the space down. It's not as if that they were going to impede my viewer's progress in the slightest. Somehow CCTV footage and it captures this collision with this motorcyclist. This shows why you should try and brake instead of steer to avoid. How did the driver of that white car not stop there? It wasn't as if it was travelling fast when the other grey car pulled out. It is good to see the motorcyclist start to get up though. I can't see and because there's no audio I can't hear whether my viewer had a right signal on but the driver behind shouldn't have started to overtake when they did. My viewer did spot and fix a dangerous situation. Always try and have a little glance side to side whenever you're coming through a green light. You just never know. That van was possibly hidden behind my viewer's A pillar. Continuing on with my near miss clips from the last few episodes. This one though, I think there was a little contact. Please let me know what you think. And this clip hasn't finished just quite yet. There's a little bit of afters to come. Handbags again.
A road very close to where I live, which you might recognise from some of my clips, but it's not mine. I think the driver of the blue van got a little impatient seeing other people overtaken on the wrong side of the road, but they choose to do it at exactly the wrong time, if there is actually a right time. My view is approaching a roundabout, and the driver of the Red Civic on the roundabout runs out of talent quite quickly. Ooh. What hope have we got when there are instructors like this? This, of course, may not be the instructor, but if it was an instructor, they don't deserve to be an instructor. They need to get a different job.